I know I've been talking a lot about signs, miracles and wonders. I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, it is something that the Lord is going to make it happen through you. Signs, miracles and wonders is what you as a Christian need to live. These are the last days. You know how things are happening, how things are turning out to be in the world, not only in our country. Our country has been ranked 10th in the times of peril, danger, problems for the church, for the Christians. I mean, we've never heard of it. It was a long way, far away somewhere. But we, you know, in these last days, need to show the difference. The church is fighting with each other. The church itself, I'm, I'm saying people, brothers against brothers, sisters against sisters, the faith people um, attacking each other. What is happening? It's because they don't have the revelation of Jesus. We need to know in the end times, there are going to be apostles and prophets. The prophets are going to be raised in this world. And what is the difference between, you know, so many people, the, the Lord says in the last days, everybody will say, I have done, Lord, have I not done this in your name? Have I not cast out demons? Have I not cast out uh, evil? You know, have, have I not performed miracles? Have I not done signs? The Lord says, you evil doers, get thee away from my presence. I did not know who you were. Yes, he used my names my name and did a lot of great things but I don't know who you are get out you know that is what is going to happen in the end so what is the difference who is the living God's son and daughter are the ones who exercise the fruit of the Holy Spirit the gifts are not important I mean people have gifts signs miracles and wonders they are doing but Jesus said, by the fruits, by the fruit, they will know. People will know that you are my disciple. The church will know you are my disciple. If you are fighting with each other, if you are fighting with this church, that church, this pastor, that pastor, fighting against believers, against believers, you are carrying a negative evil spirit, the spirit of murder, spirit of slander, spirit of jealousy. You know, the Lord will say, I don't know who you are. Leave the church. God will take care of it. If someone is saying something, if someone is doing something wrong, who made you God? Who told that God is resting and you should be taking over? Nobody. God will take care of who's preaching lies, who's preaching false doctrines, who's doing things against God. God will take care of that. There is a place of leadership in the church. The leadership will take care of it. Nobody made you God. So, brothers and sisters, in the last days, signs, miracles and wonders is what will distinguish between you and an unbeliever. And you and God will work together. When you work together, Signs, miracles, wonders happen. Not only the gifts work, but the fruit of the Holy Spirit also manifests. If you need to know the real Christian, see their fruit. You know, see the things that they produce. Are they producing strife? Are they dividing the church? Are they attacking the church? Are they attacking a pastor? That is not God called you to do. There is no... No scripture in the Bible, you know, to divide a church, to attack a pastor. The pastor, they have a, the body, the church, the elders. There are people, they'll take care of that, not you. So, I encourage you, you know, signs, miracles and wonders are going to happen. But gifts are not important. Only, only the gifts. Don't concentrate only on the gifts. Because a lot of people have gifts and, and God says, I don't know who you are. You don't want to be in that category. Pray and ask God and say, God, I need the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience. You know, Galatians talks about it. Ephesians talks about it. Romans talks about it. There are a lot of fruit of the Holy Spirit. 
servanthood, humility, caring, giving, you know, all these things, these are the fruit of a disciple of Jesus. You need to be discipled. People today have gone into heresy, gone into wrong teachings because they are not discipled. Just because they've got the gift doesn't mean that they are the disciples of Jesus. The disciples of Jesus exercise the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And obviously because of the fruit of the Holy Spirit, they have the gift of the Holy Spirit. And it operates together, hand in hand. So don't just covet the gifts. Ask the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I need the fruit. I need love, peace, patience, joy, long-suffering, endurance. You know, all these things are important in the church. And uh, brothers and sisters, God is expecting you. He wants to give it to you. He wants to be the Lord of your life. He wants to be the King of your life. He exercised, he showed how to lead a life of supernatural in this natural world. You know, we all keep saying, naturally this will happen. What do you think? It is natural phenomenon. If you do this, naturally this will happen. No, brothers. You need to live heaven on earth. Hallelujah. Heaven, what is heaven? There is nothing lacking, nothing missing, no sickness, no disease, no problem, no obesity, no ugliness, no evil, nothing in heaven. That's what needs to happen on this earth. Remember the Lord's Prayer? The so-called the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Excuse me. On earth, Jesus is saying, His will as it is in heaven should be done on earth. What is in heaven? We have failed to understand. The church failed to understand. The pastors failed to understand. The bishops failed to understand. The clergy, the laymen, people failed to understand that we need to have heaven on earth. But what is the difference between a believer and a person from a different faith if they don't see that you live heaven on earth why would they want to follow a faith that is in problems in sickness in disease they already have tons of them in their lives what is special heaven on earth is special for a christian when when they look at christians they see they should see Wow, these guys are different. They have problems, but the problem is gone within a week. I have problem, my problem is increasing week after week after week. That is the difference. They need to see heaven, we experience heaven. Christianity is not a religion. It is an experience, personal experience with heaven, personal experience with the living God, personal relationship with the living God. That is heaven. That is why Jesus, there is so much depth in the Lord's prayer that Jesus taught all the people. And we pray that every day we meet in the church, the bells ring. Sunday, Friday, Wednesday, whenever the Lord's Prayer. Let us now all rise up to pray the Lord's Prayer. And then it just like a parrot, we recite the Lord's Prayer. You know, I was taught in my confirmation classes. And uh, yeah, we learned the creed, we learned the prayers, the booklet and all that. Without meaning, without knowing what it is. We think it's a magic formula, a mantra or something, you know. We just, like a parrot, we read, Our Father, Word, Name, and Holy Name, Thy Kingdom, and Thy Will, and Honor, Thy Will, and Thy Will, and Thy Will, and Thy Will, Amen. That's what is happening in the church. It's not going to work out if that's what you're doing, brothers. You need to experience signs, miracles, and wonders. Because signs, miracles, and wonders are not needed in heaven. You need it here. The Bible says, Revelation 22 says, there is no more tears, there is no more sorrow, there is no more sickness, there is no more death, there is no more anything problem in heaven. Yeah. 
no more gifts nothing in heaven you are perfect in heaven you only need all of those on the earth yes signs miracles and wonders you need it on earth because the devil has deceived you cheated you troubled you troubling you cursing you for that you need signs miracles and wonders I know I am beating you every day with signs, miracles and wonders. The last days, this is what is going to happen. The difference between a Christian, the son of the living God, the sons of God. Romans 8 talks about the nature, the, the entire universe is looking forward for the manifestations of the sons of God. You are the son of God. You are the daughter of God. The manifestation of your what? The power that lives in you. The power that raised Jesus in you. That power needs to be resurrected. Revealed through you. Through your life. That is what Jesus is asking for. So brothers. If you want people to follow Jesus. Show. Show the power. Show the miracle. Show the wonder. It is there. If people are not being saved, people are not listening to the gospel, people cannot see a difference, there is something wrong with you. If you are not bumping into the devil every day, that means you are walking with the devil. If you are walking with the devil, you are not going to bump into each other. You have to cross your path somewhere. You know, if you are not crossing a path, that means you are walking together and you are not going to bump into the devil. Yeah, Christians will bump into the devil and you cast the devil away. When you bump it, you say, in the name of Jesus, no speaking. I don't give you right to speak. You get out of my life. Get out of that person's life. Be healed in Jesus' name. Rise from the dead. That, that is what you are called to do. Signs, miracles and wonders. I know a lot of people get upset. What is this bishop? You are always talking about signs, miracles and wonders. Tell me which bishop is talking about this. Tell me which pastor is talking about this. Except for few that are talking. We have thousands and millions of pastors, bishops, archbishops, priests, fathers. Who are the people talking about science, miracles and wonders? Who is talking about the heart of God that is science, miracles and wonders? That is what is going to happen in the last days. You like it or don't like it. This is a prophetic message, prophetic series I'm talking about. I am talking with holy passion, holy anger towards people, you know, being saved. The demons are taking away. I've got that anger, holy anger to bring back people into God's fold. That is my passion. And this is what you read the scriptures, see the scriptures. The harvest is plentiful. The laborers are few. Few of us are talking about signs, miracles and wonders. See which are the churches that are multiplying in the world. Signs, miracles and wonders happening in that world. In that church. The churches that are growing. Thousands and millions are following to those churches. I mean you, you cannot fake things. You think lakhs of people that are following the signs, miracles and wonders are faking. No, brothers, there's something wrong with you, not with those people. You are having some demonic issues. I mean, there are churches that have lots, thousands and thousands, no signs, miracles and wonders. They're living hell on earth. They can have, those, those preachers can preach signs, miracles and wonders. They don't want to take a risk of the church being scattered. There is another wave that is going in the world. Where people are thronging and thronging to these places because healings are happening. You see in Punjab, you see in uh, northern parts of the country of India, you see in Africa, where Africa was rejected as a slave country for generations. They, they've, they've cursed Africa. But believe me, take my words, Africa, they are going to be great men and women of God, prophets of God, apostles of God are going to rise up from Africa. There are going to be great apostles and prophets of God who are going to rise up from India because God is raising up his standard on the nations that have been suppressed all these in the past. God is going to raise up China 
God is going to raise up uh, uh, Gulf countries. The revelation of Jesus, the power of Jesus is rising up from the countries that were suppressed, depressed, attacked, cursed. Yes, take my word. This is a prophetic thing that the Lord ha is showing me. Africa, India, China, UAE. All the Gulf countries, God is raising up his standard among those people. The people have rejected God and now God is raising up. The ones people rejected, looked down upon, they are going to rise up. Africa is going to rise up. India is going to rise up. Brothers and sisters, miracle signs and wonders are true. Believe God. God is going to use you. And there is a mighty revival going on. I want you to Experience that. You are called for that. Show the difference between you and a person who is not following Jesus. Signs, miracles and wonders in the name of Jesus happen through Christians. That's the time the church will grow. The church will uh, increase. The church will experience the power of the living God. You know, in the, in, in the gospel of Matthew chapter 9, Jesus healing a paralytic. He was paralyzed, totally paralyzed. Matthew chapter 9, 1 to 8. And here are the friends. There are a lot of good friends in life. You know, make friends so that they know that you love them. Don't make friends just for the name sake friends. Find out who your friends are. The friends are the ones who are with you in good, bad, ugly days. This guy was paralyzed, laying on a stretcher. But he had, Jesus saw something in him, an active faith springing from confidence in him. And Jesus said to the paralytic, your sons, are, sorry, not sons, your sins are forgiven. Okay, he said, son, your sins are are forgiven. Sometimes the tongue keeps going here and there. But to control the tongue, yeah, it's very tough to control the tongue, to tame the tongue. That's what James talks about. So here Jesus says, son, your sins are forgiven. Yeah. The guilt is removed. You are declared right standing with me, God. That's what Jesus was saying that day. I am, you know. And all these guys, the pastors, the priests, the, I mean, those days they were you know, not pastors and priests, but some of the scribes, Pharisees, Sadducees, they said, blasphemy, blasphemy, what is this? Oh, no, 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 no. What is he? Who is he to forgive sins? Who is he he's calling this guy son? He's not even married and he's calling this guy son. And they were very upset. And Jesus knew their inmost thoughts that were going on in their heads was Four, why do you think evil in your hearts? <laughs> Jesus was operating the gift of the word of knowledge. Why do you think bad things in your heart? Which is easier to say, you know, your sins are forgiven or this guy to get up and walk? Both are possible. Both are, you know, possible with God. Sins are forgiven and then the guy getting healed and walking with God. That's what Jesus is saying. And brothers, don't think, you know, your situation is impossible. Both are possible, but with man it is impossible. So Jesus comes here and says, okay, are you want to see that I am God? You are seeing bad things in your heart about me that I have forgiven this guy's sin. So, if I have forgiven this guy's sin, only God who is worthy to forgive sins. So now you will see the power that I am God. And he tells this guy, get up, pick up your stretcher and go home. So if Jesus was not God and if he forgave the sins, if he was not God, this guy would not have got up and went away. So God was saying, it is impossible with man, but I am God living among you, dwelling among you. And I am the one, I am that I am, who is worthy to forgive sins, who is worthy to even 
make him his bones strong remove his paralysis and let him walk and he walked and jesus proved that he healed and forgiven him and he proved that he was god and the crowds were all stuck if you see this they were all stuck and glorified praised god giving him glory and honor and they were like wow jesus was born before us he is exercising this kind of power they praised god for the power that was working through jesus and the news all over you know if you see in mark chapter 2 1 to 12 the story there also is written and everybody was wondering the news about jesus uh, uh, you know went everywhere people were talking about him and uh, there were hundreds and hundreds and thousands of people coming and joining there were no room anywhere and then that's where the paralytic came no there was no room i mean i don't know this they've removed the rooftop don't know what uh, people they couldn't control these guys jesus was healing doing lot of things everybody was thronging to experience the power of god this paralytic this friends could not take him inside so they said let me i have an idea you know friends have great ideas you know one idea can change the entire scenario right so here this guy got an idea and said okay let me just go up to the roof and remove the tiles and i'm sure everybody sitting in the room were wondering oh what is happening on the top the roof is collapsing or what is happening you know dust falling on the roof and all but the guy came down jesus lifted him up have good friends in life the friends who will say good things the friends who will scold you for doing bad the friends who will stay with you when you scold them those kind of friends you need not friends who will make you do bad things and brothers and sisters this paralytic man was healed and jesus proved that he was god and no matter what happens in your life jesus is going to perform a miracle and he is going to he is the same yesterday today and forevermore he is the same you should know him and his power he can forgive your sins your sins may be uh, innumerable i mean you, it may be something that you think that it cannot forgive and but jesus is saying that he will forgive he will uh, take care of everything he is saying come to me all who are heavy laden come to me you know i am there with you i will heal you i will deliver you and i will set you free brothers and sisters Jesus doesn't only speak but he performs he he tells you and then he performs it he speaks the word and he performs demonstration so brothers and sisters if you don't know Jesus as your personal savior today is the day god is saying i am with you no matter how many sins you have committed come to me i will forgive you and i will heal you and i will restore everything that you have lost Father I pray in Jesus name bless my brother and sister forgive them lord of whatever sin heal them of their sickness disease infirmities fill them with your power with your revelation with your grace let signs miracles and wonders manifest in and through their lives lord in Jesus name i pray amen 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 god bless you